Reading Rainbow Rowell quotes until you find passion. Nobody's lives just fit together. Fitting together is something you work at. It's something you make happen, because you love each other. There's nothing more profound than creating something out of nothing. And sometimes you held somebody's hand just to prove that you were still alive, and that another human being was there to testify that fact. So, what if, instead of thinking about solving your whole life, you just think about adding additional good things? One at a time. Just let your pile of good things grow. Even if your heart is broken and attacking you, you're still not better off without it. When I watch a romantic comedy, I feel like they're selling something that doesn't exist. Too beautiful, but extremely unpleasant, people are terrible to each other for an hour, accidentally kiss, then decide to like each other during an extremely vague montage. That isn't how people fall in love. You don't have to be the kind of beautiful that everyone can agree on. If the right person finds you beautiful, you win. You win forever. Why do I write? To be somewhere else. To get free of ourselves. To stop. To stop being anything or anywhere at all. To disappear. I want everyone to meet you. You're my favorite person of all time. I've always felt that two people who shared as much as we did and shared such important years should have never drifted apart. Happily ever after or even just together ever after, is not cheesy, it's the noblest, like, the most courageous thing two people can shoot for. I want to be the last person who ever kisses you. That sounds bad, like a death threat or something. What I'm trying to say is you're it. This is it for me. I love you more than I hate everything else. There are moments when you can't believe something wonderful is happening. And there are moments when your entire consciousness is filled with knowing absolutely that something wonderful is happening. People who fall in love with books never really stop falling. Every woman wants a man who will fall in love with her soul as well as her body. She never looked nice. She looked like art and art wasn't supposed to look nice. It was supposed to make you feel something. It was the best kind of November day. Cold and crisp, but not quite freezing, not icy. Just cold enough that she could justifiably wear all her favorite clothes. Real life was something happening in her peripheral vision. You saved my life, she tried to tell him. Not forever, not for good. Probably just temporarily. But you saved my life, and now I'm yours. The me that's me right now is yours. Always. I think I can live without you, but it won't be any kind of life. To really be a nerd, she decided, you had to prefer fictional worlds to the real one. Holding Eleanor's hand was like holding a butterfly. Or a heartbeat. Like holding something complete, and completely alive. Thanks for watching.